Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a calculated column in a SharePoint list that concatenates or joins together the values of one or more fields in your list. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now I'm going to show you two different ways that you can join together the values that are stored in one or more fields in your SharePoint list. Now, both of them involve creating calculated columns, and it really is just going to be different formulas that we're using. Now, to create a calculated column, you want to click on the drop down to the right of the Add Column menu. Next, you want to click on More. Here you wanna give your column a name. So I'm just going to call this customer name. And next you want to go ahead and select calculated in the column type. Next you want to scroll down. And the first method that we're going to look at here is using the formula equals concatenate. So if you've ever used this in Excel, it's the exact same formula. Now what you need to do is you need to place your reference fields, i.e. the fields that you would like to join together in between the open and close bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and select customer first name. Now you'll see here that it didn't actually place this inside of my bracket. And before I go ahead and add my second field that I want to join together, it's very important that you place a comma between the different fields that you're going to be joining together. So you can see here I've placed my comma and now I'm gonna go ahead and select customer last name. And you wanna make sure that you also add your closed bracket at the end of the formula. Next, you want to set your return type. So I'm going to leave this as a single line of text. And next you want to scroll down and click okay. Now I'll quickly scroll over here and you can see here this new column that we created called customer name. And you can see here that essentially what it's doing is it's combining the values that are stored in the customer first name column and the customer last name. Now, what I'm going to show you next is how you can actually add additional characters to a concatenated calculated column. So for example, if perhaps I wanted to place a dash or some other character between the first and last name, I can easily do that by just hard coding that into my formula. Now to edit an existing column, you wanna go ahead and click on your settings icon and you wanna click on list settings. Next, you want to scroll down and click into the column. So I'll go ahead and click into customer name. And you can see here that I can come back into my formula definition and edit it. Now, what I'm going to do for demonstration purposes is let's say I wanna go ahead and add a hyphen between the customer first name and last name. All that I need to do is place whatever text or values I'd like to add into this formula between a set of quotation marks. So you can see I've added my open quotation marks and I am going to go ahead and place a hyphen in the formula next. And then I'm going to place my ending quotation marks. And again, it's very important that you separate these values with commas. And I'll just make this bigger so we can actually review this. So you can see here, customer first name quotation mark hyphen and customer last name. Next, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I'll click on my list name to bring me back into my list. And you can see here that my customer name calculated column has updated to add the hyphen between the first name and the last name. So again, you can use the concatenate formula to join together the values from one or more columns in your SharePoint list. And you can also use quotation marks to hard code in additional characters that you might need to add to that calculated column. All right, now next I'm going to show you an even faster way for you to join together values from one or more columns and again, still be able to add in any text that you want to actually hard code into that calculated column. Now you can see here that I've gone ahead and created my calculated column. Now this time in the formula field, if you want to join together the values from one or more columns, one other way that you can do this is 
by using the formula equals and then actually just selecting the columns that you want to join together and using the ampersand symbol. So if I now add my customer last name to this formula, so equals customer first name and customer last name, and I go ahead and click OK, you can see here that I'm able to accomplish the exact same thing as when I use the concatenate formula. Now again, if I wanna modify this column, I would click on the settings icon and then click on list settings and scroll down and find my column. So I'll click on invoice status code. And what you can do with this formula is you can also pipe in hard-coded values again by using the quotation marks. So if I place an open quotation mark and add a hyphen and a closed quotation mark, in between customer first name and last name and add another ampersand symbol. This is going to allow me to actually again pipe in uh, hard-coded values like we just saw. Now what I'll do for demonstration purposes this time is I'll add another field from my list and I'll also just use another hyphen to separate these. So you're noticing how I'm putting ampersand on both ends of my piped in values. And again, this time I'll add my status column and now I'll scroll down and click OK. Next, I'll click on my list name to bring me back to my list. And you can see here my updated calculated column. I'm able again to do the same thing just using the ampersand symbol. So you can see here, I'm joining together customer first name, hard coding in a hyphen, adding customer last name, hard coding a hyphen, and then also adding the actual invoice status to this calculated column value. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can create a calculated column in a SharePoint list that joins together the values from one or more other fields or columns in your SharePoint list. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.